Okay, I wanted to show a couple videos on how to do sign numbers with fractions on the calculator. So I have a drawing here of all the main features on the calculator. For example, here's the menu button that when you start the calculator, you have to hit the menu button to clear the uh, calculator and also to go into different uh, menu options of the calculator. Here's the shift button to get to all the features that are in yellow. Like for example, if you want to get to the setup area, you have to click shift then menu because above that in yellow is setup. Here's the fraction key, uh, fraction key right here. And right up above that in yellow is the uh, mixed number fraction key that you'd have to hit shift then the fraction key. This right here is the fraction to decimal key, F to D, fraction to decimal key. And if you hit it again, it brings it back to a fraction. And up above that is how you switch it to an, a mixed number. Here's the subtraction key, and here's the negative key. So let's go ahead and do a few uh, problems. I have the uh, calculator right here. So I'm in the Run menu, uh, or I'm over at the Run menu. I'll go ahead and hit Execute to get into it. And now I'll do this first problem here. So that would be 1 minus subtraction right here, this subtraction key. Now, you can put in parentheses right on the calculator. They're right here, left parentheses and right parentheses. They're right above the number 9 here. So left parentheses. Then now I need the negative button right here, negative 3. And you can see the negative sign shows up as a smaller dash than the big subtraction sign is a bigger dash there. Close that parentheses, hit execute, and that's the right answer because one, when you're subtracting a negative, that's the same as adding, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So that is the right answer. Let's do a more complicated question now. Here is the uh, here is a problem with uh, uh, mixed numbers and so on. So let's go ahead and do this problem now. I see that I'm dealing with fractions, and I like to deal with fractions in the uh, uh, display menu where it is looks like a fraction instead of having something like negative two fraction key. Oops, sorry, fraction key. And we see where the fraction key looks like this slant. And you can enter it like that. 3, fraction key, 4. That means negative 2 and 3 fourths. Well, instead of that, I'm going to go into the setup. And I'm going to do shift menu to get in the setup and change the setup as math right here. The input mode, instead of being linear, change it to math. Right there, just click that or click F1. Hit execute. And now when I type something in, so uh, it, it will look like a fraction. Now you have to do the formatting first. So uh, to get this format right here of a mixed number, that's above the fraction key. So you do shift, fraction key, and now you have a place to put in those numbers. So the first one is negative two. Then you use your arrow keys to arrow to where you need to be. So here I'm up in the numerator, so I'll type in a three, arrow down, and put in the denominator, which is four, arrow across, so I'm back up into the main line right here, and now I'm going to type subtract, that's this, subtract, and now I need the, the fraction look again, so let me do shift and the fraction key, so I have this mixed number look here, and that would be 5 and uh, 4 fifths, so 4 and arrow down, I don't think I can hit execute, see, I have to arrow down and uh, fifths. So hit execute, and there's your answer as an improper fraction, negative 171 twentieths. To switch it to a, uh, to switch it to a mixed number, hit shift and the F to D button, and that gives it as a mixed number, negative 8 and 11 twentieths. If you want a decimal, just hit the F to D button, negative 8.55. So there's that. Um, and again, you can do this without shifting the menu so that it looks like a uh, fraction, uh, but it's nice to have it in this format right here. A lot of people, when they see a mess like this, a numerator and a denominator, they want to work out the top, get an answer, work out the bottom and get an answer. Like some people might just type in the 1 plus 3 times 4 on the calculator and then do the bottom. But really, you can do the whole thing on the calculator, so there's really no need to do it into pieces. So, um, and also, a lot of people might think, oh, I don't need a calculator to do this problem. They say 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, but it's not. 
you have to do order of operations here. Like, for example, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. And the calculator knows the order of operations. If you type in to the calculator 1 plus 3 times, that's this is right here, times 4, you'll get 13 because the calculator does the 3 times 4 first, then it adds the 1. So 13 is the right answer to the top. But you don't have to do the numerator, then the denominator. You can do the whole thing. You can either do it with the fraction key or you can do it with the division key. If you use the division key, you have to put parentheses around the top and bottom. That's also true if you don't switch the format over to this math input format, like this right here that I'm talking about, where it's the input mode is math. So if you don't have it in that, you have to put parentheses around the top and bottom. But if you do have it in this mode, which I think is very helpful for this type of problem, then you don't have to... Uh, uh, worry about all that stuff. So let's um, see if we can type this problem in. So oh, let me uh, clear that and uh, one more time. There we go. So now I'm up here on the top. Now for me to say all this stuff is up on the top, if I wasn't in this math fraction area, I would have to put parentheses. I can still put parentheses around the top if I want to, but I don't have to. 1 plus 3 times 4 is all on the top, and see the calculator knows you want all that on the top. I don't need parentheses. Then I arrow down to the bottom, and I type in the denominator. 4 minus 3 squared. Now, 3 squared, I can do 3 carat up, or x squared. If I do carat up, I have to say the exponent, and that's the, the general way of doing it, carat up, because you can do any exponent. Just like on the top, you've got to follow, follow the order of operations. You, you have to do the same thing on the denominator. You don't do 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 squared is 1. You have to square the 3 first, which is 9, and 4 minus 9 is negative 5. So that's actually what the bottom is, is negative 5. The top was 13, so you're going to get something like negative 13 fifths or so when I hit execute. And what do I get? Negative 13 fifths. Now that's an improper fraction. To switch it to a uh, non-improper fraction or a mixed number, then what you're going to do is... Uh, hit the, uh, I don't think it's F to D, F to D switches it to a uh, decimal. You hit Shift F to D, and that switches it to a improper, for, uh, sorry, a mixed number right here. And you can see that's the format above there in yellow. Uh, you can maybe just barely see it, but it's a improper fraction up there. So it's the same as negative 2 and 3 fifths, or the same as, here I'll switch it back, the improper fraction negative 13 fifths, or the decimal, negative 2.6. If you have any uh, series of numbers in here, uh, you can uh, like you can do the same problem with parentheses. Here, I'll do it here. 1 plus 3 times 4. And you can say divide by, if you wanted to, 4 minus 3 squared. Close that parentheses. But... Uh, well, let me uh, bring that down here, arrow over so I can close that parentheses. So now that I got all the parentheses stuff, I get the same answer, negative 2.6, and I can switch it to a fraction, that's an improper fraction, or a mixed number. But notice I had to put parentheses around the top and bottom. I'd have to do that if I use the division key, or if I'm not in that math area, I have to uh, do that. So I'll leave it at that, but uh, this does uh, all those things for you on there.